Uh, this is the back of the gate. The horses will load in usually from the back. And inside every stall, there's going to be three individuals. You're going to have the horse and the jockey, but you're also going to have the assistant starter who's going to lead the horse in. And they're going to stand on this running board right here, about three inches wide. This black pontoon is where a person will stand, hold on to the horse's bit or reins, make sure the head is facing forward. All four feet are evenly on the ground. The jockey's ready to go. What's up, Mew Mew? <laughs> oh. Come here. He's really sweet. You guys can go. Hey! Is it hot on your feet? That's not too bad. Yeah. What's up? We have lots of barn cats. Lots of track cats. Yeah. Um, make no mistake, he's probably never caught a mouse in his whole life. <laughs> um, barn cats at racetracks are mostly kept for companionship for the horses. Um, a lot of the horses don't have too much time with other horses and pastures and things like that. So we have... So we have lots of barn cats, um, a couple of goats, the occasional pig, uh, to keep them company. Yeah. Yeah. Animals. <laughs> All right. So yeah. he's pretty sweet. Just don't touch his belly. If you do that, he'll bite you. Yeah. Um, so every place that the horse may touch is padded. This is nice and soft and squishy here. This is the back, the sides, the front, even the crossbars up at the top are all padded just in case the horse rears up at all. Um, it's a misconception that the horses hate the gate. A lot of them actually do just fine in it um, because they actually have to go to school and they have to learn how to be in the starting gate for many months before we allow them to race. They have to pass a test. They have to get a certificate. Oh my goodness. And if they ever have any trouble in the gate in the future, they have to go back to summer school before they can race again. Yeah. Because when it is time to race, there's a veterinarian that is standing behind the starting gate. And if the horse takes too long or gets too stressed out, the vet will scratch that racehorse. Says, bye-bye, you go back to the barn. And if that was the Kentucky Derby, that was your one shot. You don't get to come back. Derby's only for three-year-olds. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi. Yeah? How does the starter get out from the front? The horse? Really so he'll climb up there. Climb up. He just kind of pulls himself up. Yeah. And, uh... They are in there the entire time. They do not jump down until after the horse leaves. Then they get down. So they're in there the whole time. Helmets and chest protectors are required. Um, there was actually, uh, it was a couple months ago, uh, there was an assistant starter who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He got kicked in the chest by a horse and uh, he broke three ribs, punctured his lung and lacerated his kidney. Ouch. Yes. So he's still, he's back, he's back doing his job now. He did, a, he made a full recovery, but um, it almost looked like a cartoon. He went about 10 feet. Ooh. Yeah, wow. it was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, this is where another veterinarian is going to see the horses before the race. This is also where a horse identifier is going to wave a magic wand over the horse's neck. Pick up the microchip that is in that horse's neck. Make sure the number on that is what matches the number in her notebook so that the horse that's standing in front of her is the one that's supposed to be in that race. The spires have been here since 1895. They are a national landmark. We can't do anything to them except sometimes we can paint them. Without it. If you guys would like a couple pictures, I can get them. This took about two years of construction, about two 